Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-pip writing task one and task two. As usual, I'm here with a new letter and a survey. For some reason, you're unable to crack the self-pip in the first attempt, then join our online coaching. So I'll be able to help you. We are here to help you. Let's see what do we have here. Okay. Your car insurance company has told you that they are going to increase the amount. Your car insurance company has told you that they are going to increase the amount you have to pay in insurance for your car every year. Why are you writing to them? Why you think the insurance should not be increased? What do you want them to do? All right. So it's a formal letter. Because you do not know the manager or maybe the uh, staff member or probably if you're even in touch with someone, then you can give the name. Not in There is no steadfast rule as such. But then in any case, nothing is given here. No manager is given. So I assume that it's a formal letter. Dear sir or madam. My name is Sandy and I am your old customer. Since the past five years, as a valued customer, I deserve to know the increased. Or you can say as a valued customer, I deserve to know why the insurance company is increasing the insurance money by extra $20. All right, you can use the dollar sign, $20. Okay, dear sir or madam, my name is Sandy and I'm your old customer since the past five years. As a valued customer, I deserve to know. K-N-O-W, not a no. Deserve to know why the insurance company is increasing the insurance money by extra $20. I have been a loyal customer of ACO Insurance company and I have never defaulted the payment any time. Furthermore, why you are writing to them? So you already written to them saying why they are increasing the insurance EMI payment. Okay, let's change it to insurance EMI, extra $20. Okay. Furthermore, I have never claimed any insurance so far and I should 
not be charged this amount if you still okay let me justify it first okay if you still are going to charge me this or you can write um, if you are still adamant in charging this amount then I will be left with no other option but to change the insurance company. I request you to consider my consider my request or have you already returned so I request you to consider my case as as without further delay. So how many words we need to proofread as well? So it's already 108 words. We can write some more. Okay, let's do the proofreading because we'll get more ideas if we do that. Dear sir or madam, my name is Sandy and I'm your old customer since the past five years. As a valued customer, I deserve to know why the insurance company is increasing the insurance EMI by extra dollar twenty. That is twenty dollars. I've been a loyal customer of Aco Insurance Company and I have never defaulted the payment any time. Furthermore, I have never claimed any insurance so far and I should not be charged this amount as my car is in a impeccable, in an impeccable, impeccable condition. So these are all the high scorers. Vocabulary is very important. If you're, if you are still, if you are still adamant in charging this amount, then I will be left with no other option but to change the insurance company. Therefore, I request you to consider my case with without any further delay. Further delay. The certificate, a copy of, because we have to also enclose a copy of certificate, right? So we can write uh, a copy of my insurance certificate has been attached for your reference piece to the needful at the earliest okay thanking you in advance and I look forward 
to hearing from you soon. So in all your formal letters, you can write, I look forward to hearing from you soon. They will not penalize you. But if you write it for the informal letter, they might. So yours sincerely. I've already given my name as Sandy, so I should not change it here. Sandy is my nickname, so I'm giving my name as Sandy. So we have ample time. Let's do the proofreading again. Dear sir or madam, my name is Sandy and I'm your old customer since the past five years. As a valued customer, I deserve to know why the insurance company is increasing the insurance EMI by extra $20. I have been a loyal customer of ACO insurance company and I've never defaulted the payment any time. Furthermore, I have never claimed any insurance so far and I should not be charged this amount as my car is in an impeccable condition. If you are still adamant in charging this amount, then I'll be left with no other option but to change the insurance company. Therefore, I request you to consider my case without any further delay. A copy of my insurance certificate has been attached for your reference. Please do the needful at the earliest. Thanking you in advance. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Sandy. Let's see how many words I've written. If it's exceeded 150 or 160, then it's a good one. Yes, it has exceeded 150. Now, let's see what do we have here in the survey. So, task two survey for banning mobile phones. Your university is proposing a complete ban on mobile phones on the campus, but few students and their parents are opposing the ban. Management has sent out an opinion survey to seek views. Option A, use of mobile phones on the campus should be prohibited. Option B, students should be allowed to keep cell phones. So I'm going to take option B to whom it may concern students should be allowed to keep cell phones with them because it has become a quint quintessential part of our life. So we can say that. Um, how will you start it? Your university is proposing a complete ban. You can start by saying, in my opinion, but that is not going to fetch you a very good score because if you are creative enough, um, then the assessors will be left with no other option to give you cell pip 11 or 12. Let's try and attempt it in this contemporary world. Mobile phones have become an integral part of every one's everyone's life. So there is a double E here, every. So spacing, I guess, yeah. Okay, to whom it may concern in this contemporary world, mobile phones have become an integral part of everyone's life or everyone's lives, lives. Can we write in this manner, lives? No, life, all right. However, the university However, in my opinion, in my opinion, the university must allow the students to keep the mobile phones as they use 
the smartphones predominantly for their projects okay in this contemporary world mobile phones have become an integral part of everyone's life however in my opinion the university must allow the students to keep the mobile phones as they use the smartphones predominantly for their projects uh, to refer to the curriculum curriculum predominantly for their projects let's see if the sentence is proper however in my opinion the university must allow the students to keep the mobile phones as they use the smartphones to refer as they use their smartphones to refer to their curriculum all right or we can just check uh, chalk it out because already we have said it like predominantly for their projects for their projects all right so it is very important to have your sentences written properly so that you can get a say cell pip 11 or 12. so my attempt by and large is that okay then what to begin with the students must not be deprived deprived of phones in the college as they use it to refer to as they use it to refer the internet for instance majority of subject related projects in their core domain are immediately available online Therefore, they get some valuable information and use them to solve problems related to their subjects am i repeating anything more than once to begin with the students must not be deprived of phones in the college as they use it to refer the internet for instance majority of subject related projects in their core domain are immediately available online therefore they get some valuable information which they use which they use in solving their problem Okay, which they use in solving their solving their problems. Let's also check how many words we have written, viewers. So it is. 93. Okay. 
on the other hand, um, what else? Banning the phones. in the university university bill will raise many or will have will not be the right option, but the management may ban certain websites and games if they really want to do so. On the other hand, banning the phones in the university will not be the right option, but the management may ban certain websites and games if they really want to do so. Moreover, they may point someone to ban the unwanted websites and make certain websites available for students reference moreover they may appoint someone to ban the unwanted websites and make certain websites available for students reference in conclusion I believe that banning the phones will also lead to okay. I believe option B is appropriate. We'll see if we have exceeded the limit. In conclusion, I believe option B is appropriate as banning the phones may lead to confusion. Confusion among the students and their parents. Obviously, parents might start thinking like the college is behaving funny or something like that, right? So, nevertheless, any decision taken by the university will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. Okay, so we have come to the end of writing task one and task two. Of course, it was uh, really difficult um, even for the trainers sometimes, but then 
uh, we have to write it no matter what. We have to complete it uh, like a pro. All right. So you can do a brainstorming, but over a period of time, it has become like, a, I can call it a passion, a virtue, a forte, writing in this manner. How many words we have written? 184 words. It's a good one. So even though we wrote only 154 words on the task one, task two has taken care of the cell pip 11 or 12. So if you write in this manner, you can certainly expect the assessors to give you a cell pip 11 or 12. To whom it may concern, in this contemporary world, mobile phones have become an integral part of everyone's life. However, in my opinion, the university must allow the students to keep the mobile phones as they use the smartphones predominantly for their projects. To begin with, the students must not be deprived of phones in the college as they use it to refer the internet. For instance, majority of subjects related to projects in their core domain are immediately available online. Therefore, they get some valuable information which they use in solving their problems. On the other hand, Banning the phones in the university will not be the right option, but the management may ban certain websites and games if they really want to do so. Moreover, they may appoint someone to ban the unwanted websites and make certain websites available for the students' reference. In conclusion, I believe option B is appropriate as banning the phones may lead to confusion among the students and their parents. Nevertheless, any decision taken by the university will be a welcome gesture according to the outcome of the survey. So viewers, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future. Believe me. See you on the other side. This is Sridhar signing off from Selpip Academy. Thanks for watching.